Hey, what's up, Strongman and Powerlifting fans? And in case you missed it, yesterday on the 21st of February, 2021, at the Hybrid Showdown meet in Miami, Florida, Julius Maddox, aka Irregular Strength, he extended his um, all-time world record in the bench press, the raw bench press, might add, um, with a 355 kilo or 782.6 pound raw lift managed to um, best his last uh, world record, which was held in uh, the Arnold 2020 Sports Festival, where he hit 349.2 kilos or 770 pounds. So incredible feats of strength. And as you may have seen, um, earlier this month, he actually hit a raw uh, 350 um, kilos in the uh, in the gym with uh, Big Boy. So I've got that video coming up. But I just want to say, you know, what an amazing feat of strength from this man. You know, he's just unbelievable. This is like nothing we've ever seen before in history. And it really was one of the most impressive lifts I've ever seen in my life. As with, I'm jealous of all the people who are actually at the gym who are able to watch this meet and be part of it and see the guy in action. It was the hybrid showdown and that's sanctioned by the World Raw Powerlifting Federation. So as we know, Maddox stands at six feet three. Um, and he's 447 pounds or 203 kilos. So he's a big guy. Um, but nonetheless, the guy is lifting almost double his body weight in the bench. Obviously, he's chasing the 800 pound, as we know, um, which he tried to do last year, which you'll see coming up towards the end of the video. This is the one I mentioned with, uh, with Big Boy here, where he gets the 350 quite comfortably. Not as smooth, though, I will say, as the 355 in the actual meet. But nonetheless, this is raw in the gym unequipped and, and just, you know, crazy, crazy strength and power. And naturally he gets respect of all the guys in the gym because no one can lift weight like that. So Julius actually opened with uh, a bench of 330 kilos or 727 pounds. Um, so that was obviously his opening weight, which is something people can never do even in their life. And my mind is blown, as I'm sure many other people's is in the world. When we look at this guy, he's opened up with 330. He's almost benching his body weight just to warm up before he even goes on for his second lift. So he actually doesn't even bother to do three attempts. Like in his, it's his usual style anyway. If he feels good, he just goes straight for it. So on the second attempt, he actually went for the 355. And as you can see, he's, he's just got his wrist straps on, um, you know, he's got his suit, but that's it, it's completely raw. And uh, the lift off looks good, there's no wobbling at all, he looks very stable, um, very strong, you know, and then, and then the actual bench itself, nice pulls, very good acceleration up, there's no differences at all like he's uh, both sides look very well balanced um, it's just a fantastic lift you know it's a, a textbook technique I shall say um, and you know oh, just unbelievable unbelievable I'm just so impressed and I wish I was there but nonetheless this obviously now setting him up for his road to 800 as we all know we're all following the guy and we believe he can do it he, like I mentioned earlier he did try last year in June of 2020 but obviously he failed it because of the misload by the uh, the spotters you know I'm not going to be a hater but you know, I've got another video on this when it actually happens, so I'll link it in the uh, in the video at the end so you can watch the review. But here's also some footage of that um, that actual meet where it was misloaded. And you can see here on his left, it's uh, completely disproportionate to the other side. And this could have seriously injured him and potentially ended his career forever. So it's amazing he's been able to, to come back, you know, and uh, come back stronger. And I think that little mishap there has made him learn from it. He's, I'm sure he's going to be a lot more attentive and, and not put as much faith in the uh, the people setting things up. So if I was him, I'd be checking every weight myself meticulously before I, before I start. Um, just as you know, just as just reassurance, really, uh, because he can't he can't afford for that to happen again. Because if it happens, he's really going to knock his confidence back and mess around with his head. I'm sure it did somewhat. You can see how angry and frustrated he is there, and disappointed, and rightfully so. We're not we're not talking. These are numbers that are very dangerous. So. Well done, Julius. Massive congratulations to you, mate. Absolutely incredible. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of the uh, the lift and also what you think is going to happen for the future where he's actually going to go for that second attempt at 800. And according to Mad Docs, that's going to be held in uh, Chicago, Illinois uh, on June the 10th this year, uh, where he's going to add 12 pounds, which I think is not going to be a difficult task for him whatsoever. 
Uh, this event was streamed by Hybrid. You can check it out on their Twitch channel. Also, it's now available on loads of Instagram accounts. Obviously, I've got some footage here. So watch it, review it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And let me know what you think about his road to 800. Is it going to happen? And also, do you think this guy should maybe consider looking to Strongman? Because I'm going to cover that in a future video as well. Because I believe it's got all the potential to go into Strongman. There's a great crossover there. So I hope you liked today's video, guys. If you did, as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Amigo and Finis. Signing out.